For over 30 years, I didn't talk about my father or my younger brother, Keevan, which is a strange thing for a clinical psychologist. It all began the week after my brother was married when he fell down. Two excruciating years later, he was gone, a victim at age 29 of ALS. He suffered unimaginably, and my parents suffered right alongside him. When his wife left, they took him home. They cared for his every need while he wasted away with this terrible disease. I was 30, working on a PhD far away from home. It was a terrible time, heartbreaking. But I never realized just how really terrible it was for my parents until four years after my brother lost his life, when my father took his own. You see, my dad never recovered from that trauma. He was from a stoic Oklahoma farm family where nobody ever talked about their feelings at all. And what of my mom? Well, my mom's grief was so deep, she was blinded by it, and she couldn't see the difference between her grief and his deadly depression. And she didn't know enough about mental illness to call her son the psychologist to ask for help. But you know, this is the way it is for most of us about mental health issues. We don't share our emotional pain and suffering, and keeping it inside makes it so much worse. I'm Randy Phelps, and I'm the CEO of Given Hour, a national nonprofit organization dedicated to changing mental health in this country. Given Hour was started by, by my wife, another psychologist, Dr. Barbara Van Dalen, uh, in response to 9-11. Barbara knew that a tremendous number of people were going to be affected by those events and the traumas. And as a psychologist, she wanted to help. And she thought that other mental health professionals would want to help as well. And she was so right about that. Today, Almost 7,000 licensed mental health providers across the entire country volunteer an hour a week for a year of free services. Together, they've given almost 300,000 hours of free care to those in need. largely to military and veterans and their families, but also more recently to other at-risk at populations. But four years ago, we realized that the need is so great in this country, there is no way that we could fulfill those needs with a, a traditional model of care like this. Two reasons why we couldn't. Thank you. There are two reasons. One is there's simply not enough of us mental health professionals. One in five Americans has a diagnosable mental health disorder. That is over 60 million people. Yet there are only half a million of us in the mental health field. Mental health field. So in 2015, we launched the campaign to change direction. A, a component of Given Hour. The campaign has a simple but grand objective, and that is to change the culture of mental health in the entire country. So, what, what is the, the campaign? The campaign is like other public health initiatives where people are taught uh, to recognize the signs of uh, a heart attack, for example, or a stroke. What we are teaching is for people to be able to recognize the five signs of emotional suffering in themselves and in their loved ones and friends, and then to talk openly about those things. So what are these five signs? Well, you have a card on your chair 
right here that has the five signs. So the five signs are these. Personality change, agitation, withdrawal, lack of personal care, and hopelessness. It's hard to imagine that something so simple could be, he could be helping millions of people, but it is. It turns out that people across the world are hungry for something like the campaign to change direction. They want to learn the, the signs of suffering. They want to tell their own stories, and they want to reach out to others who are hurting so they could provide help. I now am able to speak freely and openly about my father's suicide. I only wish that my mother and father had been able to recognize the signs of his depression and hopelessness, and that my father would have been able to seek treatment without feeling ashamed. And that at a time when I was not there, that the, the community would know how to reach out to my parents and to step in and help. We just have to give people the tools. Because together, we can take better care of each other. Together, we can take better care of ourselves. Together, we can change direction.